This problem consists of a cylindrical water heater tank and the capacity of the tank is 100 gallons and the temperature of the water is maintained to 55 degrees C. The temperature of the outside is 20 C. So now the tank is insulated from the sides, the top and the bottom with the urethane and um, the questions that uh, we have is that we would like to know the um, dimensions of the thickness of the urethane uh, for which the annual cost associated with the heat losses is less than $50. So the first thing that we need to determine is um, what this uh, money in terms of energy means. So for that, and the problem gave us some information about the cost of the kilowatt hour. And remember, kilowatt hour is a unit of energy. And so the cost is dollars per kilowatt hour. So if the total heat in a year will be the equivalent of this $50. So we need to divide by the price of the kilowatt hour. So this 50 divided by 0 0.18 dollars per kilowatt hour equal to 278 kilowatt hour. Now this is energy and the conservation of energy equation is uh, written in terms of heat rate. So we need to transform this into heat rate. But the heat rate is in terms of time. So this is the energy per year. So the uh, heat rate maximum that we want is Q of the year, all the energy of the year divided by one year. And so this is 278 kilowatts hour. And one year is 360 days times 24 hours. So the Q max is 31.7 watts now this is like our starting point so this is the energy rate that is released to the air through the wall now um, the first thing to do is guess what balance of energy so if we consider this is the thickness so this is a line that is uh, through the center of the tank and this is uh, radius one so this is the distance from here to the center and this is the thickness and the thickness is being called delta in this problem so our um, control volume will be just the urethane because we know the temperature at this point and we know that at the outside we have um, convection so we have ambient air which is at a temperature of 20 c the energy that is loss through the walls came from the water and is released to the air and the and the walls that we have are the sides walls so all these walls and the top and the bottom in the balance of energy we have that q generated so that's the energy that is coming from this wall is equal to the energy that goes from the wall through the air so that's equal or should be equal to those energies so those energies are going out so minus q of the sides walls minus q of the top and bottom and we are going to suppose uh, that top and bottom walls they release the same amount of energy for simplicity so top and bottom should be equal to zero so all the energy that is coming from uh, the water is released to the air so the energy generated will be equivalent to the q max now in other words we have that q max is equal to q of the side walls plus q of the top and bottom now q of the side we have a temperature in this point that we are going to call TS1 and on this on the air we have T infinity so 
the extreme temperatures are Ts1 minus T infinity divided by the total resistance. So we have the resistance of the cylindrical wall and the resistance of convection to the air. We don't have any resistance here because we have we are starting from this point. So from this point to T infinity, we have only two resistance. The total resistance is a natural log of R2 divided by R1 divided by 2 pi and KL plus the resistance of convection. Convection, and we are talking about the side, so that's the area of the side, is um, 1 divided by H multiplied by the area, which is 2 pi R2 L. R2 because it's the external surface, the one that is in contact with the air. So this is R2, and by the way, R2 is equal to R1 plus delta. Let me put it here. R2 equal to R1 plus delta, and delta is the thickness that we want to find. Now, we have to add the Q of the top and the bottom, and those are actually plain walls because they are, this is flat surface and this is a flat surface. So Q of the, of the top is equal to the same uh, difference of temperature, T is 1 minus T infinity. Now the resistance, the first resistance is the resistance of a wall the, because it's flat and the thickness of the wall is delta. So we have that is delta instead of L divided by um, K pi d squared over 4. So that's the resistance of the wall in that direction and the resistance of due to convection which is 1 over h and h multiplied by the area and the area is pi d squared over 4. So those are our balance of um, energy terms that we can combine into this equation. So we have q max equal to the first term, the q on the side, plus q on the top. So what are our unknowns? So what are unknowns are delta and R2. Right? Well, we have one equation here for delta in terms of R2. So this is a, if we want uh, equation 1. And this is the second equation, equation 2. So we have two equations and two unknowns. So we should be able to solve it. So to solve it, we really need to use either iterations or use a mathematical program like Python to uh, solve the system of equations.